and welcome back to the Alaskan Man Cave. Today, we're gonna put some Cerakote on this old wooden stock. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to get this done successfully. Well, the first step into a successful Cerakote job is a proper cleaning and degreasing. So on this wood stock, I'm gonna probably use uh, a bunch of brake clean and really scrub it down good before we get into the sandblast. All right, we're gonna hit this good with the brake clean. And then I'm gonna do that a couple more times just to make sure we've got all the oils that are gonna be anywhere near the surface taken off. All right, well, we've got this pretty well degreased. We're about ready to go to blast, but on this particular stock, the customer would like to keep that Ruger logo uh, in the white. So we're gonna cut a stencil to uh, cover that up. So I'm gonna measure the diameter of this circle and it's coming out about 7 sixteenths of an inch. So we'll cut a couple circles uh, on the stencil cutter, a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, just to make sure we get one that works without having to reprint several times. And send it. Done. All right, with our razor knife, we will start out with our 7 16th circle. Pick it up and we'll see how she fits. Mm. That's slightly small, so we're gonna grab the next one up. So it's a good thing we made one bigger. We'll grab that one, and that'll be good enough. Set that in there, perfect. All right, we got our stock degreased and masked off, so we're ready to go into the sandblast. But since this is wood, we got to make sure that we remember we want to turn the pressure down on our sandblaster. I usually turn mine down to like 30 or 40 when I work on wood. That way you're not digging into the grain too much. Um, now there's a couple of different ways to do the paint. A lot of, I've had a lot of people like it to where they, they want to see the wood grain. And then there's people that just want that wood grain to go away and make it look smooth like plastic. So. Um, on this one, we're just going to give it a light, um, light blast just so we get the profile for the paint to stick. We're not worried about whether the wood grain is visible or not. As I was blasting this, I went, went ahead and took, it, took all of the old clear coat off the stock because there was, it was missing in so many spots, it would have looked funny as far as texture differences between the, uh, the clear coated areas in the bare wood. So I went ahead and took all of the old clear coat off of this stock so it's gonna be a nice uniform finish. All right, our next step is to uh, go to paint. And when I do paint this, I'm gonna put uh, a fairly thin coat of paint on, let that flash off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and lay down another coat or two that <clears throat> nice wet coats to, uh, to get a nice even finish. As you can see, we put a nice thin coat on that. We're gonna let that sit and flash off for maybe about five minutes, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna lay down a nice heavy coat to make sure we've got the proper coverage. We've got, this is flashed off now. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down a nice heavy coat, nice wet coats, and spray wet the roll. And if you're wondering why I'm doing it in multiple coats, with wood, I like to put down that first coat, let it kind of, you know, nice and thin, and let it kind of seal the wood grain. And I like to put another coat on heavy, so that way I can see whether or not my, uh, uh, whether there's areas that are still absorbing the paint into the wood and it's gonna change the sheen on the finish. So what I like to do is do it in a couple of coats like that so as it flashes off I can see what my what my finish looks like and if I need to throw another coat on after you get it sealed up you can 
So most of the time, two to three coats seals it up just fine and you're good to go. All right, we put a nice heavy coat on. I'm gonna let that flash off and do one more coat and then we'll go in into the oven. As you can see, we have a nice even sheen on our finish and it's gonna look really nice when it's done. So, and I'm loving the wood grain, the deeper wood grain since I blasted off all of the clear coat. This stock is gonna look fantastic. So anyway, we're gonna uh, let this flash off and then we'll throw it in the oven I got the oven set for 150, take two, two and a half hours to cure out at that temperature. All right, the stock is done out of the oven and man, did it come out nice. The, uh, the wood grain on this is awesome. I'm really glad I blasted off all of the uh, uh, clear coat that was on here because the, the finish on this looks really cool. That's gonna look sharp once we get the barrel in it. Barrel's going to be burnt bronze. You'll see that here in a few minutes. Well, we got another successful paint job. This rifle came out really, really nice. I'm really liking the, 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 the way the wood grain really pops out on this stock. And uh, I think since this is a third generation firearm, I think the, the next owner is going to be very, very pleased with it. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,